BrowserStack's App Automate product lets you test your native and hybrid apps on a wide range of physical, mobile, and tablet devices. In this video, I'm going to be covering a tour of the BrowserStack App Automate's dashboard. And I'm going to be running a sample test case to show you how it works. I have already logged into my BrowserStack account, and what you're seeing on the screen right now is the App Automate dashboard. Over here, you get the username and access key, which are unique to every user. I am going to be using these in my test to authenticate myself as the user. In the status bar, you see the number of parallel threads that you have available in your plan and the number of tests that are running right now and that have been queued. If you are running tests in builds, you can see them over here and even the individual tests would be visible over here. And if you want to search a particular test using the test name or the build name, you can do that in the search bar. Running a test on App Automate is a two-step process. In the first step, I'll be uploading the app to BrowserStack server, and in the second step, I'll be executing the sample test. Now, I'll be uploading the app to BrowserStack's server using a simple curl command in which I have passed my username, access key, and file location of the app stored on my machine. In return, I got this URL which I'll be adding to my test case. Here is the script for the sample Ruby Appium test that I will be executing. I have pasted the app URL I got after uploading the app over here. This test will open the Wikipedia app on a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus device, locate the search bar and search for the keyword browser stack. I'll now be executing the test through the terminal. As you can see in the background, the test has already started executing on the App Automate dashboard. So this is the test that we just executed under the Ruby Appium sample build. Let me open this. Inside, we get a summary of the test that we just executed. The status of the test is completed. This is the session ID that is unique to every test that you run on browser stack. The test took 51 seconds to execute and it was run on a real Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus device. Over here is a video log to the test, which is a live video recording of the test that just got executed. Apart from the video log, BrowserStack also provides you with a host of other logs to help you debug your tests better. There are test logs, which capture the series of steps ran in the test. Visual logs are basically screenshots of every page change event that occurs in the test. Network logs capture the browser performance data, such as whitelisting and blacklisting content, network traffic and latency, etc. And there are also Appium and device logs, which you could download using the REST API. Apart from that, you also get a profiling of the application that gives you a visual representation of the device's CPU, memory, battery, and network while your app is in use. You can similarly test your Android and iOS apps by integrating effortlessly with other popular testing frameworks like Earl Grey, XCUI, and Espresso. 